Hello, everyone. Uh, there have been a lot of requests for overlay templates, so I thought I'd go ahead and make a template based on our demo overlay inside the StreamYard Studio. Uh, at StreamYard, we use a program called Figma for a lot of the design work that we do. Um, it's an awesome program. It's really, really powerful. And it's free, which is uh, awesome. So you'll go to this uh, link, which is a template that I've generated. And if you don't have a Figma account, uh, you can create one. And you'll need to create one in order to actually use the template. But it's free, and it's very simple. You can sign up with Google or an email. Um, for this example, I'll just use my existing account. So uh, once you've logged in, you'll want to go to the center of the header here, since this is just a view only template for you to duplicate um, and edit. So you'll want to click this arrow here and click duplicate to your drafts, uh, which will create your own copy. And then you can go ahead and click open. And that will open your own personal copy that you can go ahead uh, and edit yourself. OK, so um, I'm not going to go over every single thing you can do in Figma because it would take days. It's an incredibly uh, complex and powerful program. But there's lots of information out there if you want to learn more about what you can actually do with it. Uh, for this, I'm just going to stick to how to edit this template I've created uh, and quickly make your own overlay using it. So you can click any section of this, uh, of this overlay and change it to whatever you like. So instead of live with StreamYard, you could edit the text there and say oh, live with Gage. Um, you can also delete the uh, StreamYard logo we have in here and then upload uh, your own picture. You would just have to drag and drop it in. So if you have a, if you have a little logo PNG, you can just drag and drop it into Figma and you would place it uh, inside of this circle. I want to just go ahead and do that so it's clear. So I just downloaded an example uh, logo just to show you guys how this works. So I'm just going to drag and drop that into Figma. Obviously, I'll need to make this a bit smaller uh, so I can resize it here. And I'm just going to place it inside uh, that circle. There we go. Just center it up. And I've got my own logo there now. Uh, you can also change the colors inside of here. So if I wanted to change this blue to any other color, I would just click on it, go to the fill section, say I want to make it red. It's red now. Let's make it a lighter red. You can also change the color of this circle here if you'd like to do that. I'm just going to make it, uh, what color should I make it? I'll just make it another shade of red, I guess, maybe orange. <laughs> so now it's orange. So you get the picture here. You can change the color of essentially anything on here. You might have to zoom in a bit to be able to uh, click them easily, but like this bottom one, I can change this turquoise to, uh, let's change it to that ugly color there. <laughs> so uh, you can see you can, you can edit anything on this template and make it your own. Same with this section here, you'd be able to change that. Once you're done editing it and want to uh, download it so that you can use it in your StreamYard streams, you'll want to click the title that's up here, scroll down to the export section and click export overlay example 1280 by 720. And that will download uh, your 1280 by 720 transparent PNG that you can use in your StreamYard streams. And you'll have your own uh, overlay. If you ever get confused and mess up anything in the template, it's nothing to worry about. You just go back to the original link I shared and duplicate another one and you can start over. And you'll probably do that a few times until you get used to how the program works. But once you figure it out, it's uh, pretty easy to make your own overlays. Uh, if this is useful, let me know and I can make... Uh, maybe some more complicated tutorials about maybe changing this template around and moving things inside the template and things like that. Just let me know. Thanks.